I feel like this is something that's going to be part of history, but yet I feel like I'm separate to it. I'm living a different kind of uh, experience than everyone um, at home. So I live in Carlotown with my, uh, my husband. We've been married uh, 21 years. Um, I have yeah, two sons, Dylan and Jack. I'm 42 years of age. I actually finished eight days of chemo last night. On this ward in Dennis Burkett's they are very careful um, because you know the patients all are you know transplant patients and low immune systems so they are always very careful but they've had to kind of change things drastically as well at the same time and just the fact of not being able to have visitors someone can't even hold your hand and you have to pull yourself back together so that you can get through it. Just missing the human contact, you're you're given this awful diagnosis, um, and you can't get a hug. It's hugs. I I love hugs. Um, so like that's that's what I miss the most. Like it's funny, I know you might laugh. One of my nurses has cold hands, but I love when she's my nurse because I can feel her on my skin when she's doing my drip. Like you might get a rub of her cold hand on my arm, and just that simple little touch. You feel like you're not, you know, on your own. It, it, it's awful, um, you know, because when I went into a and I had to go in on my own. Um, you couldn't bring anyone in with you. Um, so it was kind of the last that I saw of him. And even just like in normal circumstances, when you'd be diagnosed with something like this, both of us would be told together. I'm very lucky that every single night I'm in here at seven o'clock, I have a FaceTime call with both my sons and my husband. I'm thankful that they're not little. I'm not leaving little small kids behind. I don't think I could do that. Um, I really couldn't.